Hi guys. So I have some empties for you. I really like watching empties because empties you get to hear people's opinion about products because they've used them up and they know exactly what they think about them because they used the entire product up. So I'm gonna go through my empties and all right, first thing, people, you can't go wrong with Listerine. This is like the best mouthwash. Hello, if you want nice clean breath and a clean feeling mouth, Listerine is it, my favorite. I like the burn. This one is the, um, this is the cool mint one. This one's a good one. I like this one. Let's see. I have two dry shampoos. Um, this one is the beautiful brunette and this is the divine dark. I prefer the divine dark over the, um, beautiful brunette. It's just that cause it's darker, you know, this one almost looks like it still has the white on it. Um, but like I've gone like almost five days using dry shampoo. And then when I wash my hair out, it's like all this brown water that comes off of my head. It's crazy. So it does leave a really dark residue in your hair, in your roots and everything. So for me, it's fine because my roots are very dark. So I really like the Batiste and it's like seven something. It's super cheap and you get a really big can versus some other cans are a little bit smaller and they're way more expensive. I've been wanting to try this one brand, but it's like 20 something dollars for one can. And I'm just, I just can't see myself using it. I don't know. Um, the other thing I like about this is that when you spray it, it's like a super powerful spray. It's awesome. It's like, shh, and it gets right in there. It doesn't just like lay on top. It gets right into the root. So I like that. Next, I believe I got this from Glossy Box, if I'm not mistaken. It's called Erin Tangier vanilla i think it's it's whatever it's not even in english i don't think it's a body wash and this stuff is the best stuff i held on to this as long as i could the scent of this is oh my god it's like so luxurious i love this body wash i use just a little bit every once in a while because i loved it so much um i'm actually gonna take a picture of this one here so that i can see where i can purchase it this is amazing amazing and the scent lingers on your skin it feels so good it's just awesome i really love this one deodorant yes people deodorant this one I actually got this in one of those um walmart beauty boxes this is the degree motion sense ultra clear black and white um, so I guess it's supposed to last 48 hours. I don't think any deodorant lasts 48 hours, to be honest with you, at least not for me. Um, I really like this one. It lasts pretty well and I like the scent. So this is like another one that I'm definitely going to start using this one instead and picking it up. The degree motion scents. Face wipes. I only have two in here this month. This is the Clinical Works Vitamin C. There's 60 in here and this one is from CVS or Walgreens. It's the Beauty 360. I think that's Walgreens. Um, this one had 36. Um, these were very thin. I think these were a little bit thicker. Um, for 60, this was less than $4, I wanna say. And I got this at um, TJ Maxx or, I think it was TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, what's the other one? It wasn't Ross. Home Goods maybe? It could. That's the same thing, isn't it? TJ Maxx, Home Goods, same company. Anyway, so go and look for um, facial cleansing wipes there. You can get like a huge package for like less than $4. That's such a steal. And then this one was just, it was nice. It was very, very moist. So not bad. Ah, uh, yes. The Urban Decay All Nighter make Makeup Setting Spray and the Smashbox Photo Finish. I think I let this one sit on the counter too long because it started smelling really funky. There's a little bit left in here and I just didn't like the smell. I hear so many great things about it, but um, yeah, I'm just like uh, not too much of a fan of this one compared to the Urban Decay All Nighter. Okay, this is the Thirsty Cleanse from Glam Glow. Um, I actually really like this one. This is like the, I believe this is the charcoal -y one because I have another one. Let me see. Yes, this is like a like a charcoal kind of cleansing one. Um, I really like this one. These tend to take off my makeup really, really well. So for that, I really like them. Um, next is the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. This is awesome. This is such a good moisturizer. I've gone through so many different types of mois moisturizers recently, um, just trying them out and seeing how they are. And I really, really like this one. 
and you know it was just a small little sample so but I was able to get I want to say a couple weeks out of it or something so this was really good this is the day by day beauty I got this off of Amazon this is a hyaluronic acid this is really good as well um, I love hyaluronic acid I just use this right before I use any moisturizers or anything so um, I mean I think honestly almost any type of hyaluronic acid is fine um, but I did really like this one I like the little pump on here that it doesn't have like the little squeezy ball on the top where you just put out a couple drops on that you could just squeeze it out and pump it out this one I like um, Caudalie again um, I really like Caudalie this is the Venusaurus moisturizing sorbet this is so good also this is like a very nice it's a thick creamy whipped kind of feel and it just feels so good when you're putting it on your skin it's like a <sighs> relief it's so nice um, unlike the belief this is more like water like those types of gel like you put it on your face and it feels like it just melts and turns into like a water so um, this is a little bit different this is more like a creamy kind of version of it then we have another similar one this is the Dr. Jart water infuse ultimate hydro gel um, and this one's similar to the belief one um, these are very very similar to each other um, so all these like water gels I really like them I had to get up for a second to go answer the door anyway um, Dr. Jart water drops this is the first gel water gel type of product that I used and I fell in love with this one awesome amazing this is what made me start loving all these types of water gels this is the comfort zone Hydra Memory Cream Gel. Um, this is uh, Jules and Esther Facial Serum, number 24. This is a vitamin C serum. This is a very nice serum. I liked it. I like all types of serums and stuff. There's no scent in this one. Some of them have like a citrusy scent, but this one doesn't. Uh, Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. This is a five in one styling serum. This is really nice. Um, since I kind of sometimes leave my hair just like how it is, it's not. I mean, this one I kind of curled it just a little bit, but on certain days when I don't do anything to my hair um, and I'm not going to go to sleep with wet hair, then I'll use this. Um, and it just kind of leaves like a little bit more of um, a tamed wave versus like frizziness. So I like this. Ah, the Strivectin Labs. This is the Extreme Cream. This is a very thick white cream that is excellent to put on at nighttime. Um, this took me forever to use. This is like super expensive, but I use like my points. Like you can earn free points and stuff like that on Strivectin's website. And you can, like, I think I, it's like $99 for this little tiny thing. What is this size? Um, a one fluid ounce. And I think I got like, I think I got this one for free with all my points and everything. So that's the only reason why I bought it because $100 for a cream, oh, that's really, it hurts, you know? It hurts, hurts the pocket. But I'm pretty sure I got this with points. And like I said, it's excellent for, for me, I prefer to use this at nighttime versus the daytime because it is quite heavy and um, that's the reason I would prefer to use it at night. Let's see, I have another, this is the Ole, Olu, Ol, I've heard people say this so differently. I say Ole Hendrick, Hendrickson, but that's not how you say it. Whatever. I'm going to say it that way because that's what sounds right to me, even though I know it's not right. This is the Truth Serum. Love this stuff. Love, 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 love this stuff. This has vitamin C. It's like a collagen boosted vitamin C. Fantastic. I have so many bottles of this. I love this stuff and it has like a nice citrusy orangey scent yes yes it does this reminds me of some Amore Pacific Pacific is that how you say it? um that I used to use and I love but it was so freaking expensive so this when I started using this I was like oh this reminds me of the other stuff next is a couple um, hair oils. I'm not going to put like a close up because they're quite disgusting. They're kind of gross. I got these out of some beauty boxes. This is the smoothing 
Moroccan Argan Oil and Keratin Hair Serum from Nth Degree. I like all hair serums. I think they're all pretty much the same. Um, so it kind of like doesn't matter on hair serums. I just use a little bit. This is the Eva NYC Get Glossed Hair Serum. This one's the most disgusting one. But um, like I said, all hair serums are kind of okay. Um, these are not very thick, so I like that. My phone is talking. This is another serum. This is 180 Beauty is Timeless Pure Swiss Hyaluronic Serum plus Peptides. This was really nice. Um, I, you know, if I were to compare this with like a vitamin C or a hyaluronic acid, I would say it's very similar, just like a little bit more oilier. So, um, you know, serums in general, I'll just alternate through different types of serums. Um, this was a nice one. I got it off of Amazon. Let's see. Then we have, I don't know where I got this mask. This is Mask Bar by Par. Um, this is a pomegranate sheet mask. Mask. I like this. It didn't burn my eyes and it stayed on my face. It didn't slide off my face. So I really like this one. I don't really care for mask all that much, but this one I really liked. And then we have the Hello Lashes Mascara. This was just like, eh, I didn't like this one. This is from It Cosmetics. Um, is this the one that I was talking about the other day? Let me see. Nope, this is not the one. This has got like little spikes on the tip and then just like a regular brush on the other end. Um, I didn't like this one at all. It's like too, too dry. It didn't really put anything on my lashes. It's kind of like mediocre. This is my favorite, all-time favorite liquid liner from Stila. This is the Stay All Day liner. It has a really super fine tip and it does last all day. Super black. And I really like this. I got this when they had the 21 Days of Beauty. They were, it was like half price. So I got it for like $10. I got a couple of them. And I think I'm out. I'm using my last one now. So sad. Anyway, so that's my empties. Um, I tried to talk fast to get over it. So yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm.